enabled evolution from a wolf-like ancestor to the wide variety of domestic dogs present today? This is a question I frequently ask myself when I admire the wide diversity of dogs walking their humans in the streets of Paris. The answer to this question, selective breeding. So, what is selective breeding? It is considered a type of artificial selection in which humans favour particular desirable traits. Individuals with these characteristics will be actively chosen to breed, and thus these traits will increase in frequency in a population over time. This results in evolution. It is an alternate method to natural selection, which in contrast passively selects for traits that give evolutionary advantage in a certain environment. The selective breeding of dogs is not a new concept. There is evidence that it has been occurring ever since the domestication of canines around 15,000 years ago, with distinct dog breeds observable at least 3,000 years ago in ancient Egypt. Artificial selection over this long period of time has resulted in modern dogs with a wide range of appearances and behaviours. There now exists at least 400 defined dog breeds. It is amazing the variety of morphological features we may observe, from the tiny chihuahuas to the immense Great Danes. Although there exists many downsides to selective breeding of dogs by humans, the high demand for purebred pedigree dogs of certain breeds has resulted in increased inbreeding and in the expression of recessive genetic defects. Examples of this include the predisposition of respiratory problems in pugs and hip dysplasia in German shepherds. This is the consequence of humans' artificial selection for attractive or extreme characteristics, such as small or large body size, short muzzles, curly tails or excessive muscle. Also, because natural selection is having less of an effect on canine evolution, the animals are not experiencing the same selective pressures necessary to adapt to their environment. Thus, most are dependent on humans for survival. Selective breeding is a powerful evolutionary tool, able to produce dogs with such a broad range of characteristics in a short time frame. Though, care must be taken. Breeders should maintain large population sizes, genetic diversity, and avoid inbreeding to ensure healthy dogs are bred. Many consider that man is a dog's best friend, though have you considered that it was us that made them that way? Thank you.